What is up my bros, it's your boy 2 Oz here, bringing you another action figure tour review. This time we're taking a look at the SH Regards Comrade Gates Entry Race Form. Or as most people call it, Entry Form. I don't know where the race came from, but I sure need one. So, this was a March, uh, March retail release over in Japan, but you can also get it here in the States in May. And I got mine specifically from... Toku Collectibles! Your one-stop shop for all your Toku needs! You can get yourself some Comrade Keys, some Osama Sentai King Oger, some Ultraman Blazer, and many more! <laughs> now with that plug out of the way, let's take a look at the packaging here. You can see that entry form is right there in the front. You got him right here in the packaging, of course, the clear window since it's retail. Inside here you have Comrade Gates entry race form. On the back you have the various poses showing off the switching or changing gimmick that you can do with the current releases. And then a preview of Tycoon over here on the side coming out in July. I am excited for that. And then entry form right here again on the side. Like I said, this is a March retail release and it is also a May US release. You can get them actually over at the Tomashi Nation's pop-up shop in LA. Or like I said, I got mine from Toe Collectibles. You can get that currently. Uh, it's on the website. Still in stock for the US stock. So if you want to get more, uh, get some. Because primarily people will be getting this because of that changing gimmick. But also because you can then switch out the helmets and the belt pieces from the other releases to then make, you know, the entry forms for Buffa, Tycoon, uh, Punk Jack. Unfortunately, Naga won't fit because she is on a smaller body. Hopefully they make a smaller uh, female uh, entry form body soon but until then we have this one with geats so we're going to take a look at his accessories his articulation the swapping gimmick and then we're uh comparing him to other figures from other lines let's get into it and here's entry form right out of the packaging as you can see he comes out with relaxed hands right here he's in this all sleek black body a little bit of silver detailing there or gummel gray to kind of show where the entry pieces meet so when you do the actual revolve change we you know changing transformation the switching you can then uh, see where the lines then intersect. Of course, he has the same helmet as normal Geats because it is Geats' entry form. Only now he has these, well, very like muted silver. They're supposed to be like black eyes. So he, eh? you can also have his little Geats scarf. This is what you know differentiates him from the other riders. But you can take that off, like with the other Geats. So, in case you do want to switch out entry forms, you can then plug it or take out the back panel and then plug that. So you can then use that. And then also take off this collar piece so you can use this body for the other riders. On here, his desire driver, the Geats core ID or rider ID core, it's a lot more uh, <laughs> it's a lot more balanced than the other one. The other one was slightly slanted, but you can see here, very nice sleek black body. This is good for army building too. In the event that you decide that you want to do that, or like I said, you can get this for the entry forms for the other riders. He comes out of the packaging with these relaxed hands, but he does also come with two fisted hands, two normal gripping hands, two trigger finger hands, and two other relaxed open hands. This gives him a total of 10 hands, but you know, five pairs to go along with, as well as the, the Magnum rifle in its rifle mode. So you can then give that to your Geats uh, Boost Magnum or Magnum Boost, so he can have his signature gun. But let's get into the articulation for this guy. So as he is a standard SH Regards, he can look that far down, that far up, he has the full neck rotation, uh, neck rotation, articulation there. Because of the way his form is designed, he can do a full on T-pose. Rotation. There is swivel at the shoulder, but no bicep swivel, unfortunately. So he can move his arm this far in with the butterfly joint, that far back with the butterfly joint. So enjoy it. Double jointed elbows that bend this far up. Full wrist articulation, full diaphragm pivot, crunch this far forward with the diaphragm pivot, this far back, kick this high because the, the piece right there is actually soft plastic, you can actually put that underneath, kick that far high, of course that thigh swivel, double joint knees that kick this far back, uh, 
you know, ankle swivel, ankle articulation right there, ankle pivot, and toe articulation that goes up this far. Now, like I said, the main reason people will be buying this is either the army build or to do the swapping gimmick. So we're gonna bring out here, Magnum Boost. You can stand up right next to each other like that. So what you do is you actually pop it off here at the waist. It splits off into these two parts. And in this instance, we are going to give him boost legs. So then we pop off him in half. Take his desired driver, pop on the boost buckle. And then you just align it and plug it in. And then we have entry form with the boost legs. And now do this will plug in properly. <laughs> Up here, his mind's a little loose. Or the positioning was not right. But do it close enough <laughs> for now. I'll figure out what's going on with it later. But here is Magnum. It's Magnum. So, yeah, like I said, they, they had this form swap gimmick. You can use this then when Tycoon and Buffa come out. Buffa comes out actually actually came out already by the time this recording has gone up. I just haven't received mine yet. And then Tycoon comes out in uh, July. Punk Jack, the other figure that can switch with these parts, comes out in is that October or November. It's one of those two. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, this is how they look when they swap. So we are now going to compare him to other figures from other lines. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into comparisons. So because I put him together here with Geet's Magnum Boost, I'm gonna put him out there again. Pair him with two other bike themed riders, one that is red, one that's white. <laughs> so here's he yeah, here he is next to Shinko Choseho Axel. And Kamara right, Double. Here he is next to Kamara right, Mak, which my friend likes to keep messing with me because I keep saying Mac. As you can see, they do use that no taller body taller skeleton kind of for the build so he is slightly taller than both of them here he is next to jada toys ryu oops he fell And next to the SH Figure Arts Shin Kamen Rider with my modifications as well as the SHF Upgrade Coat and Scarf. So he stands taller than the already tall uh, Shin Kamen Rider. And then just for funds, here he is next to my custom Lightning Collection Ninjetti White Ranger Tommy, the custom helmet. Since they're both animal themed. Want to get them out there. And you can see he stands pretty uh pretty well with other domestics or with domestic figures, as you saw with Ryu. But yeah, this is a very fun figure, guys. Like I said, I recommend it. So if you happen to like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell in case we get new videos up there. Be sure to check out other figures or other reviews on this channel, including the Jada Toys Ryu, as well as the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man that went up. I am going to be delaying the SH Figure Arts old uh, Ichigo Shinkocho Seho until Rider Man comes out, because Rider Man actually came out this weekend. So we can have, you know, those two Showa Riders going up with each other. But until then, uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. You can follow us on social media, my Twitter account, which is True KROs, or my Instagram, which is Regivane93. You can follow the show's Twitter, which is bugs 2 men or you can follow Gary's Twitter, which is gbix93. Now, if you happen to like this, stay tuned for the photos. I messed that up. <laughs> stay tuned for the photos. All right, see ya. Bye.